What you see here is a typical Sunday afternoon. I usually set up my cheap little board, which is very useful to set fire to a pipe, which burns constantly throughout the performance. And I think of an idea, because the idea is all important. Once I've thought of the idea, I can draw anything I've thought of. The idea is the key. And what I usually draw is my own fantasies, which are basically of a sexual nature. So I have a dirty mind, and I can have the talent to record what I am thinking. So I get on with my wand, which is this stick, and I start to draw. Linear line. I don't like a line, I just get rid of it slightly. It's cheap paper. I don't get drawn in expensive paper. Are you recording what I'm doing? So what is that you're using? It's just a piece of charcoal inside a Japanese knotweed stem. I can't, I can't get all the pencil holders in this town, so I go into the back garden at number 52, and I cut the stuff, and when it's been dried through, it's a piece of cane, and I can get, the, get my pencils, my charcoal through it. This is an erotic drawing. <laughs> Alright. Now, what you do, you see, I get hold of one of my cheap blackboard chalks. I use the very cheapest materials. Don't spend money. Don't need to, you see. Only artists who can't draw to borrow, use their correct equipment. But someone like me who's been doing it for 63 years. You can use cheap gear. The great thing is you can throw it away when, I, when I, if it's a failure, this thing, which it usually is. It can go in the bin and it doesn't make any difference. I can still eat. I still afford to eat. I'll get my pencil, you see it come to life then, this drawing. Once it's come to life, it can go in the bin. I have no further use for it, then. So you uh, always uh, smoke up pipe while you're drawing? Yeah, it's essential. It's constant. Yeah, it's going to be kept going. It's an expensive, that's the only expense involved, the pipe. Is that just to relax your hand or? Mm -hmm. it's to, 
I used to smoke fags at one time, but I was told it was a silly habit that I could draw. If I smoked a pipe, I could continue to... I could leave it in the mouth, you see, and leave the hands free. Not what we're doing here, Michael. I don't really know what we're doing. So I take it from this drawing you like women? Women? Mm. I don't like women. I can't avoid thinking about them. Which maybe just boils down to the same thing, isn't it? So could you elaborate further on that? Well, the pester me, haunt my mind, and cause me sleepless nights. I sometimes get back at them by making a, a drawing. I get the What are you doing, Michael? Are you recording me? Paper. The paper's it's cheap paper and it, it's starting to exhaust its potential. I go through it sometimes. It just collapses on me. That's the only disadvantage of it. But it depends on what you get. There's how bad this about six quid for about four thousand sheets. It's an economical thing to do, buy. And the only advantage I can say I can rub it out using the back of my hand. But it does have a life. After about seven or eight stabs of a pencil, I'll go through it, go through it, go through the paper, and it's part, absolutely gone. Do you often use colours? I use colours a lot of the time, yes. Yeah. Colour is not, not important, really, it's the drawing itself. The line, what does it? Got interested in big boots recently, isn't it? All the little girl, all the young girls wear these big, fucking clumsy boots, which gives them a, a, about seven or eight inches height. So the pint-sized people then become giants or giant asses. Become giant asses. These boots. Some nuisance, really. <coughs> boots are clumsily made. Cheap, shoddy boots. Only a town like this would make boots like what I see being worn. So you don't like this town, then? I hate the town. But it has its benefits. Feel superior in a town like this. Why do you feel superior? Because it doesn't provide anything for me culturally. It's a lot of slang town. So it's just a place where I live. Look out the window. I think, fuck me, I've been here for. Most of my life. Most of my life. I'm, st I'm still here. <coughs> Why am I 
doing here? I think. I wonder. Is it women you draw the most? Yeah, women and cats. Mm -hmm. I've drawn cats for a while. I, I should draw cats. People like my cat drawings. But you like cats, don't you? The, yeah, I love cats. They're fine. They're embarrassed about this sort of erotic things I draw. I'm not frightened to voice an opinion about my cats. So just, just How long does it take uh, a drawing such as this one to start to finish? Well, it's just finished. I'm finishing with it now. There's no point in per per persevering with this because it, it's not an out so much. I'm just drawing it for the camera. It, it, it's just it's not an out so much of the drawing. When you do your drawings, do you use, uh, ever use other pictures to draw from? No, never, no. no. I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't copy. It's what provincials do. Explain? It's what provincials do. Provincial artists draw a copy. Mm -hmm. I think I've got past that stage now where I need to copy. I can, you can tell if the figure's roughly right. If you can't fuck it, it's wrong. I just about could fuck this. I don't know. I think this needs editing, this video. <laughs> well, I mean, that's a, that's a test, that's proof of the pudding, you see. If you, if you look at something you've drawn, and if it's a car and you can't drive it off, the drawing of the car is incorrect. It's the same with women. If you can't give them a good belting when you finish the drawing, then the, you've, not, you've not been successful with it. Well, that's all I can say about it, really. Well.